A mother says it is a miracle she and her four daughters survived a head-on collision. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Calvin Sneed. The woman in the other car died. Now, the crash report says the Georgia State Patrol was following that driver. Brittany Martin tells us what the mom of four credits was saving her life. Brittany. Calvin Kim, Jennifer Schaffner, and her four daughters were taken to Erlanger. They will all be discharged today except for two-year-old Presley. But they're all lucky to be alive, and Schaffner says her daughters will only be stronger because of it. When you see this car, it's hard to believe someone survived. Jennifer Schaffner and her four daughters all did. I give it all to God. I really do. Um, after it happened, there was just a peace um, about everything that it was going to work out. This past Saturday, the five were on their way home to Dawsonville. They'd attended a funeral in Kansas. According to this traffic report, the other driver, Olivia Craig, was speeding and being followed by a Georgia State trooper. This chart shows Craig cross the center line, hitting the Schaffner's van head on. I don't hold any will towards um, the woman um, that hit us, that she has a family too, and that loved her, and they're suffering a loss. Jennifer only has a broken foot and some bruising. Three of her girls, aged 5, 9, and 11, have broken bones. Two-year-old Presley had to have spinal surgery. This video shows her just a few weeks ago jumping on the trampoline. Jennifer's sister, Lisa, says she may not ever be able to jump again. She won't be um, allowed to play any sports, from what we hear. Any contact, anything that has a lot of um, impact. Jennifer says this is something she wants her girls to grow from, out of something tragic, a reason to be thankful. They're such a blessing by just being here, because if you see the accident, we shouldn't be. Um, that they have something to give to the world. The Georgia State Patrol crash report says they suspect Craig was using drugs at the time of the crash. Craig, Craig had an outstanding warrant in Whitfield County for failing to appear in court. Calvin. Thanks, Brittany. We have a link to a page where you can keep up with the Schaffner family's progress on our website, newschannel9.com.